Salutations and lalakusha to everybody. It does sound like a good lalakusha. What are you say to me? Lalakusha. Or lalakusha. Because we like the way it sounds. It's called lakush kush. Lakush. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our next area of the game, Lalakusha. This is the, uh, I believe this is the Kingdom of Harmony. Oh, so this is our main... Uh, the Kingdom of, uh, what's it called? Basically, this is where, um, where Lolo and her people live. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the weird monkey-eared, lion-tailed human peoples. Do we ever learn how she ever, like, came to find or meet Popka? No. Uh, not really, no. Popka's just there. And I actually, speaking of Popka, that is one thing I did want to bring up. Um... Beyond the occasional sass he brings upon him without, within these cutscenes, and you know, being the typical, you know, voice of reason, mm -hmm. which is funny considering considering I mean, look at the guy. Um, Popka does serve a gameplay purpose if you have a buddy. Oh. And even then, they're relegated to one button. Oh, so it's like a galaxy thing. Pretty much. If a second player does want to join in on the fun, uh, Popka will pop up on him, Tish, and give Klonoa what the game calls a super jump. Oh. It's basically a double jump without having to jump. He just, oh. he literally catapults you up into the air. So, d does that actually require a full second controller just to hit the jump button again? Yes. Yes, it does. That's which is kind of silly, in my honest opinion. <laughs> it's fun. Let's say real talk, I could also see myself doing that just to, oh, nice. I could see my, oh, I could see myself doing that just to mess up my friend like he's going for a jump. And then, it's like he overshoots the jump immediately. Yeah, but who would want to do that? You'd be surprised. I, mean, I, I would. So, um... That's my example, but yeah. To over, to, just to accentuate the whole dreamlike feel of Klonoa 2, like, just look at this place. It's so cool. Um, could you... I, I'm, I'm gonna be yes. here for a few minutes. You go on ahead. Oh, what? Oh, 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 I see the mushrooms, right? Let me look up... Let me look up some stuff about this game. Uh, so far, uh, just to get out of your talk, and Seely, what do you think of all this so far? I don't. Rem I honestly don't remember much from the first one. It's been, it's been ages, but I like this so far. No worries. I I'm getting some familiar vibes from it. Yeah, and again, like it, it, it the art, the whole 2.5D is like, it feels like a faster-paced Kirby 64. Kind of yeah. does actually. Kind of yeah. Thinking about it, the level geometry for Woo! this level specifically kind of feels like Woo! a condensed ah! version of the first two levels in Clone Wars. I see what the ruins in like because you get you get the grassland, you get the you know <gasps> structural stuff to walk through, and you got the caves. Right, that's, that's is, a neat little transition. The grassland in the game. Yeah. What was yeah. that, Ceiling? Yeah, that's a neat little transition going in. Uh, oh yeah, the, the caves. oh yeah, the walking Klonoa. Oh, and which reminds me, those fucking transitional sequences part of the reason why recording this game was such a bastard for the longest time. Uh, it, it's just optimization just wasn't there originally, which again. <sighs> Knocked us off the list as another one of those commentaries that. Oh, by the way, if we look to our left, one of the pleasant creatures you'll meet in the oh, game. Oh, jeez! Ah! That is actually a very good That's way scary. to introduce a level gimmick. Huh? Yep, have an enemy. Not, not getting up. eaten by said plant, but having yeah, an enemy yeah. just run away from you into the plant. Yeah. But, uh, thank, okay, thank goodness we got a heart check point. But yeah, <sighs> so I, I do like that idea of, like, having it of cleverly, like, you know. Again, but freaking Egoraptor with his sequelitis did that already, but you don't need tutorials for everything, just have the level introduce the concept for you already. So bam, now It's you called can an anti-piece. Yep, now we can use anti-piece. Yeah, A-N-T-E, piece. Oh. Oh, what was I? I don't get it. Um, Lobster's dictionary, do your job. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, How definitely you go? great stuff, and uh, one of those games that has been on James and our list for like almost a year, almost like over Clonella, two to three moment, years. Please. Time for some voice acting. We must take our time to pray to the to the matron god of Lunetia. Well, not the god, but god, yes, a god. Bad. Hey, didn't we pass another one of these statues earlier? Yeah, we blew it up. Now we just tickled its feet a little bit. No, this is a current statue of the mother goddess Claire. 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 Then what was the other one? Sue. <laughs> That's a statue of Claire the Ancient, and they say it was all that remained after she was purged of all evil. That doesn't sound too that doesn't sound too pleasant. <laughs> hmm. Let's get going then. Just gonna say real quick, there's not a lot. They don't really allude to uh, the, the mother goddess Claire all that much in this game. Uh, it feels like just it feels like a background element more than anything. 
it serves as like pieces to build the world around them. Sort of, yeah. More. Yeah. By the way, those yeah. weird rabbit things in the background, you never get to uh, grab, I think. Except they, for no, like one or two They're times. primarily there to sh launch their iron balls at you. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'll be right back. They're okay. kind of like the mouse looking enemies from Clone Wars 1. Except they only exist in the background. Yeah. That makes sense, and they, yeah. And, they and their crush doesn't literally bulge into four separate spheres. Oh, um, much like the first game, uh, we also have the uh, Mirror Fairies, which temporarily doubles the amount of Dream Crystals you can grab. Truth be told, I wish Leno 2 was a little clearer about that, because it kind of feels it kind of feels like something that just kind of comes and goes. Yeah, I mean, the first game is a little bit better at uh, showing off what exactly the purpose of it is, because mm -hmm. it has like a times two counter when you activate it. There's that, and I know in the Wii Make, they do, like, all the all the Dreamstones uh, turn gold when you find it, come across a, a, a mirror spirit. Yeah. I could have sworn something like that happened in the original game, too. What, you mean the fact that it kind of just came with little no fanfare? No, no, I mean the fact that the gems also changed color. Yeah, but it gives, yeah, they start flashing. I mean, either way, it, it, it was just a lot more clear in, in the original game, both the original and the Wii make, compared to the second game, where it's just, the pop, the thing pops out, and that's about it. Anyways, this is a fun set piece. Breaking apart the bell tower. You get to play with dimensions. Or a pendulum, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it's supposed to be a pendulum. Yeah, it looks But it's like also a, a little, it's a little tricky to, tricky to um, aim. Not really. You just have to stand in the middle of the platform, wait for it to stop swinging so aggressively, and just go. There. Woo! Thankfully, it can't hit you. Oh, that would suck so much if it did, if it could hit you. It'd be funny. Because <laughs> you know, Clino, if there's some, one thing that the Clino series is lacking, it's typical slapstick. Actually, wait. Is that supposed to be a? I love slapstick. Was it a pendulum <laughs> pit or is it a clock face? Clock face. Because they see like little. Oh, numerals. it is a clock face. I never noticed that. It's a sundial. <laughs> a sundial. Yeah, it's a sundial. That's what that pendulum's for. It's supposed to cast the shadow that tells the time. Hmm, well, at least we've reached the tallest point oh, of the tower. Oh, um, by the way, uh, Seely, uh, Jordy, it's time for you to uh, get your game faces on because we have made it to the uh, to the um. The high priestess. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> we shall finally get Willow's promotion. Uh, this oh, is you, wait. by the way, Seely. Oh, sorry. No, no, you wish to save the world, do you? I... I do! Look at her eyes. She looks like she needs some sleep. Yeah. It won't be an easy task. I mean, there's a reason why she's called the High Priestess. <laughs> Shut up. I'm prepared for it. Uh, and I... rang the spirit bell. You did what? No. <laughs> <laughs> you what?! <laughs> it's all part of the training. Oh, it feels good to stress oh, these little bones. Oh, how long have I been sitting down? <laughs> and so, by the power of, of the High Priestess's light, Lolo gets a promotion. A feather. You got the warrior feather. <laughs> it pretty much is. Lolo, we are hereby granted the rank and responsibilities of a priestess. Now you can do the hammer swing attack. <laughs> and I expect great deeds from you for the sake of the world. Thank you! Congratulations, Lolo! Oh! Oh! I'm so... Should, I should also know <sighs> quick that this game is very anime, so... Yeah. <laughs> Your first task is to journey to the four kingdoms in which the Harmony Pills are housed. Seems like a pretty steep task when you think about it. And once you reach the kingdoms... You must go and gather the power from their bells. I do like the little holograms you see in the background showcase yeah, where the bells that's are. Nice. Well, who's generating them? Gather the power of the bells? It is the harmonious power of the bells that will make it possible for us to contain the evil. Can you do this, Lolo? E yes! I'll do my best! What was I talking about okay. again? <laughs> <laughs> then journey now to the Bell of Tranquility, which is the closest. Okay, Tranquility, that's... 
Yes, ma'am. If you'll excuse us. I thought this was the Kingdom of Harmony, but no, Tranquility would make more sense. But then every kingdom would be the Kingdom of Harmony. And Quinoa. Give me my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> You're a kind lad. Please watch over. I'm protect all the our low low man. I don't know why. Baby, baby, baby. Like how he said don't she worry, didn't have her morning priestess. coffee. It yet. Comes with the territory. I got tongue tied. The high priestess has foreseen all the shipping that people that fans will do with Clano and Lolo, which I mean, mm. I'm all for it. But they make a cute pair. I mean, they left their they left their friendship on the cliffhanger. Friendship. Because there was just some kind of cat monster thing in a trench coat that just took her in a rocket and blasted off. <laughs> so yeah, about that bell of tranquility, it's just right up there. Oh good. And conveniently, <laughs> we're right up there. Behold. Alright. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, don't go to sleep just yet, you two, because there's still more work to be done. Okay. Do -do -do. All along the bridge. Glenoa! Hurry! Hurry! No, seriously, hurry! Do, 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 do. Running in place. Oh, Suddenly, boy. the villains have come have come into the scene. And uh, whatever the fuck this is, is that uh, like uh, that Agron? Oh, it's a monster. A monster? The arena again? The arena? A bandit. She wreaks havoc on the world while searching for treasure. The nerve! They called us bandits. <laughs> Let those fools babble all they want. P A R A T E S! <laughs> She's Leorina the Sky Pirate, and I'm Tet, her cutie sidekick. Don't you forget it! <laughs> so, you're the Dream Traveler. Whatever. You're of little consequence, but I'll relieve you of that ring. My ring? The ring! The ring? You're not getting this ring! I figured this would happen. Get them. Will do! <laughs> Full got on, the armor beast. I'm sorry. I just want to interrupt real quick, just taking Celie's character for a second. Oh, and watch out for attacks from your back. <laughs> Thankfully, Leorina is nowhere near as shameless of that as Joker was in the first game. Yeah, instead they have an exposed piece of the tail, I guess. Which I just noticed is actually an organic tail. I mean, yeah. You didn't think this monster was all artificial. No, I legit thought this thing was just armor and nothing but. Also, I don't think they ever explained it all that well, but yes, Le Leorina has the power to summon these these monsters that'll often get glued away. Mm. Much like uh, the, the uh, bad guy of the first game, uh, Gaudius? Uh, Gaudius and uh, Joker, yeah. Oh, we can find him again. Yeah, the, most of these bosses will, do have two phases to them, which, I mean, does kind of make up for the fact that, on the whole, they're pretty easy. Yeah, for the most part. It's definitely a bigger step from the first game. Oh, absolutely. Like, I still remember how much, how, how, how... <laughs> How much of a wi how much of a bitch I made into Rango Lango the first time we fought him? Yeah, Mango Wango. <laughs> Ma refreshing mango drink. <laughs> now he's angry. He's just gonna do the same thing again. Uh, does every boss have the same number of phases? Uh, not all of them. I think only a handful of them go go down in two phases. Ah, uh, okay. It's a bit weird. A bit, but on the whole, they're not that much more complicated than the huh? first bosses. Hmm. What is your name? Kanoa. <laughs> You're kinda cool. Kanoa, I'll remember you. But sadly, Nanko won't. <laughs> sad, sad, but true. Very sad, but true. By the way, when are we ever gonna get that um that rumored Klonoa new game, whatever thing that was trademarked? Never. The Sky Pirate, Leorina. She's cool. Oh, there you are. Oh, welcome Whoa. back. Oh, oh hello. I just, like, I just like lean in like. Whoa. So no, anyway. this is the Bell of Tranquility. Yeah, Actually, just, the thing. that's a tall Your bell. Your tone, Logan, just made me think of like the SpongeBob movie game where it's like SpongeBob, she's hot. 
<laughs> Alien, <laughs> use your power, Clonola. So just shoot it, right? Yeah. And uh, this is at a point where where the where it's like you actually have control over that. <laughs> Do it. Oh. It's, like, it's well. to make it feel more immerse. Yeah, but I wish the game made it a little clearer than that. Pop could just wax his head. Shoot it already! <laughs> Shoot it already! What are you waiting for, Fuzzball? So we got our first power. This is the bell's power. Is it an actual power or just a like plot power? We just call it an element. Uh, for short. Oh, I thought it's, I thought it's, I it's thought literally. It said, it's literally like the medallions in um, Ocarina of Time. Okay. Or you know, almost... just a pretty marble. Oh, the dream voice again. Me. Huh? It's dark. Help me. Help me. Help me. Yeah, I hope you like saying that line, Jordy. That's pretty much all you hear. To be perfectly honest, Jordy, I think you're putting a little too much emotion into that, considering how the char character actually says it. Oh, oh, yeah. So I guess we should say. I guess we should say she's he, that character is actually very monotone and very. It's light. all he can say. Oops. Very soft. What's wrong with his spoken. hand? Uh, uh, what? Oh, emulator quirk. Oh, I God. Got, he's got a ghost finger. <laughs> I think the, I think the power of the bell is corrupting his hand and his hair. I noticed. The power of emotion. I didn't mean to call attention to that. I was just like, what's with his hand? Dude, what's wrong with your face? And earlier when Icky was talking about the element, I almost thought the line was, we call them elements for show. <laughs> we don't know what they are. Oh, for show. For show, Ert. For, sh for show, like, eh, we don't know what they're actually for, but they look cool. Anyway. So now that we got our first element, why don't we go talk to Bogunji? <laughs> Banana in his pajamas again. We can roll them down hills and see which one comes out the fastest. Banana splits. Lord, Lord Prophet Banana Jinjo, what do we gotta do today? I heard of a sky pirate searching for gold. I never thought she'd see the ring as well. I mean, the ring does kind of look golden, so I guess it's not too surprising. Could they be trying to save the world too? What do you I see. Think? Looks like we've got some competition. That ain't what they are, you dope. <laughs> okay. Say you like it is, Popka. They ain't being, they ain't being too nice people. Still. Green Traveler's Ring is a secret item. Says who? <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, I had lunch earlier. They say we'll not work without a priestess. Oh, is that what you mean? just kind of happened? Yeah, I was having dinner. Anyway. <clears throat> and stealing the ring ain't enough by itself. Hey, I, don't, I don't make the script, but Baguji does. Oh. Yes, for dinner, I gotta get dinner. That's a bit reassuring. Yeah. In any case, you must seek all of the bells. Like I just literally told you five minutes ago. To the next bell, the. It was actually half an hour ago. Oh. <clears throat> I, I blended the words to it uh, to the together. I apologize. It's okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, you're just in time for Joyland's opening. Oh boy, oh, Disney's reopening without guidelines. Great. Yay. Great. Joyland. <laughs> okay. The entire kingdom is like a giant amusement park. Just what I needed for my fancy. Oh. Great timing! Aww. Come on, come on! It's a fun zone. Route 1 in 10, Farmingdale. We aren't going there to play! I want to play, though. I want to play the ball. Then on to Julian's Bell. <laughs> Let's go! Aw, oh, Pop is great. So, we're going to Funland. Yep, which is uh, down south. We're going oh. to copy-ridden mouse land. <laughs> I don't know if I think that would have worked well on the magazine panel. Industrialized rodent land. I just honestly, yeah, they they couldn't quite get they couldn't quite get the the um, the uh, trademark to have a mouse portray their theme park. So instead, they just they just use uh, giraffe people. But they were able to recruit some of their uh, musicians and uh, license some of their songs. I wanna I wanna say real quick because you guys were talking about Disney World opening back up. I remember one of my voice actor friends, Michael, he made a response to that announcement, and it was just a gif of Bugs Bunny sawing Florida sawing off Florida the United off. States. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, I mean. But what about California? Yay! Maybe it would have worked, yeah. Maybe <laughs> some other day. So join us as we go to, we're going to go, we're going to Funland, yay. We're going to Disneyland. Off to Joyland in the next part. See you guys there. Bye -bye. Let's go to the fun fair. Fun fair. Castro land. <laughs>